Ever wondered why your body hurts after stretching? You're not alone. It's a common curiosity, especially for those who are just starting out on their fitness journey, or even seasoned athletes who are pushing their bodies to the limit. Stretching is widely recognized as a vital part of maintaining flexibility and preventing injuries. It's a way to warm up your muscles, increase blood flow, and prepare yourself for physical activity. Yet sometimes the aftermath of a good stretch is less than pleasant. You might feel a twinge of pain, a dull ache, or even a sharp sting. It's not exactly the soothing relief you were expecting, right? This might leave you puzzled, questioning the benefits of stretching. But fret not. It's not always a sign of something sinister. Today, we'll uncover the five absolute reasons why your body might hurt after stretching. The first reason you might experience discomfort after stretching is improper technique. This is a common culprit behind those nagging aches and pains you feel post-stretching. When you don't stretch correctly, you risk straining your muscles or even worse, causing an injury. Think of your muscles as rubber bands. If you pull a rubber band too quickly or too far, it can snap. The same principle applies to your muscles. Stretching them too fast or too far can lead to muscle strains. And this is where technique plays a crucial part. Improper stretching techniques often involve jerky rapid movements. These can be harmful as they don't give your muscles enough time to adapt and lengthen. Instead, opt for slow and controlled movements. Gradual stretching allows your muscles to elongate safely, reducing the risk of injury. Another common mistake is bouncing while stretching. This is known as ballistic stretching. It might seem like a good way to push your stretch a little further, but it can actually cause your muscles to tighten up, increasing the chance of pulling a muscle. Instead of bouncing, try static stretching. This involves holding a stretch for a certain period of time, usually around 20 to 30 seconds. It's a safer and more effective way to increase flexibility. In addition, be mindful of your body alignment during stretches. Incorrect alignment can place unnecessary stress on your joints and muscles. For example, when stretching your hamstring, keep your spine neutral rather than rounding your back. This ensures that the stretch targets the intended muscle without straining others. Lastly, remember to breathe. It might sound simple, but many people hold their breath while stretching, which can cause muscle tension. Instead, try to maintain a steady, relaxed breathing pattern. This will help to decrease tension and allow for a deeper stretch. In conclusion, it's not about how far you can stretch or how fast you can do it. It's about stretching correctly and safely. Remember, quality over quantity is the key when it comes to stretching. Another common culprit of post-stretching pain is overstretching. It's a bit like Goldilocks and her three bears porridge. Not too hot, not too cold, but just right. When it comes to stretching, we need to find that just right level of stretch, not too little and definitely not too much. Overstretching is when we push our bodies beyond their natural flexibility limits. It's when the stretch stops being a gentle pull and starts being a strain. You see, our muscles and connective tissues are a bit like rubber bands. They can stretch, yes, but only up to a point. Push them too far and they can snap, causing micro-tears that lead to pain and stiffness. So, how do we avoid overstretching? The key is to listen to your body. It knows its limits and it'll tell you when you're pushing too far. The moment you feel a sharp, intense pain, that's your body's way of saying, hey, back off a little. The right level of stretch should feel like a gentle pull in your muscles. It might be slightly uncomfortable, but it should never be painful. And remember, flexibility isn't built overnight. It's a slow, gradual process that takes time and patience. There's also a myth that you should hold a stretch until it stops hurting. Let's bust that myth right here, right now. Pain is not a sign that the stretch is working, it's a sign that you're risking injury. So if you're feeling pain during a stretch, ease off a little. And lastly, don't forget to breathe. Holding your breath during a stretch can increase tension in your muscles, making you more prone to overstretching. So breathe in, breathe out, and let your muscles relax into the stretch. In the end, stretching is all about balance. It's about knowing when to push and when to pull back. It's about respecting your body's limits and working within them. So remember to take it slow, listen to your body, and never stretch to the point of pain. Listen to your body, it knows its limits. Are you finding this information helpful? We're dedicated to delivering more of this, delving deeper into the realms of health and wellness. Imagine having access to a wealth of knowledge that can help you live better, feel better, and improve your overall well-being right at your fingertips. Sounds good, right? All you need to do is hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. It's as simple as that. Don't miss out on our upcoming videos. Hit that subscribe button.
Moving on to the third reason, lack of a proper warm-up. It's like trying to stretch a cold rubber band, you're bound to meet some resistance and it might even snap. Similarly, diving straight into intense stretches without warming up can lead to muscle strain and discomfort. Warm-ups gradually increase your body temperature and blood flow, thereby making your muscles more pliable and less prone to injury. Think of your muscles as a piece of clay. When it's cold, it's rigid and hard, but as it warms, it becomes soft and malleable. The same concept applies to your muscles. A good warm-up consists of light cardio, such as brisk walking or jogging, followed by dynamic stretches that mimic the movements you'll be doing in your workout. Remember, it's not just about stretching, but about stretching safely. So before you reach for your toes, reach for a good warm-up routine first. A good warm-up primes your muscles for stretching. The fourth reason could be underlying medical conditions. Now, this is a bit tricky because it's not about what you're doing, but rather about what's going on inside your body. You see, some medical conditions can contribute to post-stretching discomfort or even pain. Let's delve a bit deeper into this. Arthritis, for instance, is a condition that inflames your joints, making them stiff and painful. Stretching, while generally beneficial, may actually intensify the pain if you're dealing with arthritis. Or take fibromyalgia, a chronic disorder characterized by widespread musculoskeletal pain. People with fibromyalgia often report increased discomfort after stretching, but it's not just these two. There are several medical conditions that could lead to pain after stretching. From nerve disorders to muscle diseases, the list is unfortunately quite extensive. Even something as common as muscle strain can be an underlying condition that causes post-stretching pain. Now you might wonder, does this mean I should stop stretching? Well, not necessarily, but it does mean that if you consistently experience pain after stretching, it's a good idea to talk to a healthcare professional. They can help determine if there's an underlying condition causing your discomfort. Remember, stretching should generally feel good. Yes, there can be a bit of discomfort as you push your flexibility boundaries, but it should never cause persistent or severe pain. Health is a complex puzzle, and sometimes solving it requires a bit more than just changing your exercise routine. It might require a medical professional's expertise to identify and address underlying health issues. So, don't be afraid to seek help. If your body consistently hurts after stretching, it's trying to tell you something. Maybe it's saying, hey, we might need to check this out. So listen to your body. Don't ignore persistent pain. It's your body's way of telling you that something might be wrong. Finally, the fifth reason for post-stretching pain is dehydration. Our bodies are over 60% water, which plays a crucial role in maintaining our overall health, especially the health of our muscles. Water helps transport nutrients to our muscles and remove waste products, keeping them nourished and functioning properly. When we're dehydrated, our muscles don't receive the nutrients they need, and waste products can build up. This can lead to muscle cramps and discomfort, especially after stretching. If you've ever experienced a sudden painful cramp during or after a stretch, dehydration could very well be the culprit. So what's the solution? It's simple. Drink more water. But don't just chug a bottle right before your workout. True hydration is about consistency. It's about making sure you're drinking enough water throughout the day, every day. So remember, stay hydrated, not just during exercise, but all day long. So there you have it. Five reasons your body might hurt after stretching. We've delved into improper technique, overstretching, lack of warm-up, underlying medical conditions, and dehydration. But more importantly, we've discussed how you can avoid these pitfalls by understanding your body, learning the correct techniques, warming up properly, staying hydrated, and addressing any health concerns. You can ensure a pain-free stretching experience. Remember, stretching should make you feel good, not hurt. So stretch smart, stay safe, and keep moving.